morning. All right, let's get started on this general reading. See how this new moon in Virgo is affecting the squad. Spirit squad, right? I mean, that's, that's how I know who my soul tribe is. Y'all be watching these videos, right? You guys find me. We're in alignment. That's how you find me. Um, so, let's see it. big message for someone. Let's see it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Paul, soul, you're dealing with a karmic relationship, I see. Um, karmic relationships are um, all about that Orion energy, the polarity, soul growth, and conflict, right? Uh, to those of you who don't, who are unaware of a karmic relationship, I guarantee you your first relationship was one <laughs> um it's basically where there's like this magnetism right you feel drawn to somebody and you love them <laughs> like you just you want to keep them in your life you feel like this strong pull however they bring like chaos and conflict and confusion and fear and doubt and insecurity in your life they bring all this shit right up to the surface right and in your head you're like how is it that feels like so much shit to be around this person however I feel so magnetized like they must be the one right that's that's a karmic relationship karmic relationships put you through a kind of personal hell um and there's lessons in it there's something that you're meant to grow and establish in this um that's supposed to prepare you for you know soulmate connections and twin flame connection it sucks. It sucks, okay? <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Inner Earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Deep cellular healing. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. I'm sorry. Defenselessness, righting past wrongs and uprooting. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. That's when you know it's the purest, when you haven't over-intellectualized your, um, your intuition. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. This is like feeling alone in a crowd, though, right? Like, you know you're not alone, but there's this feeling of just aloneness, right? And what's weird, though, is I do see you connecting with your twin flame on another level, on a deeper plane, which is probably why this karmic relationship is coming to an end when you do a lot of healing and the inner work, right? The inner earth, inner work. And when you do all that and when you do pay your karmic debts, right? This writing past wrongs, once your karmic debt is paid, then the karmic relationship has served its purpose and it ends, right? And I see you connecting on like a sixth dimensional level with your twin flame, right? On a level that's not in this third 3D. Very interesting. Alright. Let's see it. This is going to be an accidental twin flame reading, guys. I mean, it showed up. Like, the ending of the karmic relationship, the healing, the paying the karmic debt, and really taking action towards your twin flame, whether or not you're aware of that. Okay. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Um, Page of Wands in reverse. You may have been waiting on news or message that's just not coming through. You may have been waiting on somebody to, to show up for you in a certain way and it's just not happening that way. Alright, King of Cups in reverse tells me that you're kind of like falling out of love or losing emotion for a person or a situation. Uh, page of Swords, there could be resentment, you know, um, whether that's toward you or from you, but the, I feel a sense of resentment here, right? And the Seven of Wands in reverse feeling like not knowing which direction to go or if there's a direction for you to go, right? The Emperor in reverse... Whether you're male or female, you're showing up in masculine energy, right? Right now, it's not a time for creation. Right now, it's a time for organizing and strategizing, right? Um, with the Emperor in reverse, it's like you're struggling to find a way to do that. Um, the Star in reverse tells me that it's a lack of faith in your own manif manifestation, right? You have to have a lot of faith that shit's gonna work out for you um three of swords in reverse told me that you're not even heartbroken about the severance that's about to take place or has taken place i feel like it's about to i don't think it has yet um <clears throat> yeah four of cups in reverse there's gonna be an offer that you won't refuse you don't want to refuse and that's gonna bring about your nine of cups your wish fulfillment um, okay, let's see, why is this four of cups in reverse, because it seems to be the turning point of the reading. So, Page of Cups tells me somebody is going to come in with an offer, right? Page of Cups is typically a love offer. Something that you don't want to refuse. It's Four of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Ten of Wands tells me that there will be an ending of a cycle that feels like a burden, right? You're going to be able to set that burden down. Um, Ten is all about endings and new beginnings. And this brings about your wish fulfillment. You may have already broken up with somebody in the past. Um, it 
could have already, that karmic relationship could already be severed. I do see a lot of resentment, though, and that resentment is no good sign on one or both parties. Who's this page of swords? It's like a jealous energy, jealous and resentful. They're getting their karmic justice by losing you. Justice cards coming out. Um, it's almost like it's their karma to watch you do well and to succeed. Um, because all they did was bring a lot of resentment, jealousy, fear, doubt, and security into your life, right? They, it's almost like trying to, like, imprison you in love. But that, unfortunately, pushed you out of love, right? It made it impossible for you to continue on that path. Because you're just like, dude, this ain't love. There ain't no hope for us, right? There's a lot of air energy, too, with the Justice card being Libra, the Star card being Aquarius. The Amber card is Aries, right? We've got that. Some fire in there, too. And a lot of bonds, you know. Now, um, let's see. What's your advice from Spirit? in reverse it's time to take the blindfold off it's time to see that you have options my friend seven of cups ten of pentacles in reverse it will ha it will cause you to have to let go of something that maybe you shared finances together or maybe you know whatever but whatever the case is it wasn't good for your soul so spirit's taking it away right king of wands I see you living in your truth and walking in your truth. Um, the King of Wands is also very mature, right? Very um, excellent communicator. Ace of Swords in reverse tells me you don't want to fight. You're done fighting. You're over the fighting. Um, typically what happens when we leave a karmic relationship is we're all like, fuck the fighting. I would rather die alone. Um, also, I'm seeing 1010, right? Indians and New Beginnings. Um, in 10 to the power of 2 would be Indians and New Beginnings within unions and partnerships, right? Um, this seems to be a fucking theme in the last couple days. Knight of Cups. Not so dissimilar from Page of Cups, right? Knight of Cups and Page of Cups are both offers of love. They could be separate offers. They could be different people. Because you have the Seven of Cups telling me that you have a lot of options in love. You see all these all these hats or all these cups, right? They change the name of the suits, but the suits are the same. Um, and these are all different options in love, right? And they're all different. They all have different things that they can offer. They all have different um, attributes. I do see you kind of focused on one. I do see you're, you're kind of focused on one. Um, but you do have options. And I do see offers kind of coming in from multiple sources here. King of Cups in reverse tells me you might... Not be so quick to jump into any options at this time. You might kind of like weigh out your options, kind of see, you know, what feels right. Maybe go on, try dating. I think that's a kind of a lost art, you know, and I've been, I think it's a, what people should do, honestly. Like, 
And you should uh, do some casual dating and kind of see what energies feel right to you. And what energies you want to entertain, you know? Um, I know a lot of people, like, hated on me because I was like, I want to try just casually dating and seeing, you know, seeing where things go. Rather than being like, oh, I, I went on some dates with this person, so I'm just going to commit the whole ass to this person. And it's like... I feel like that's just the way millennials date, unfortunately, but, like, we need, we need to normalize more of that, like, being able to go and weigh out your options and know what feels right, right? Don't just settle for the first energy that entertains you. I do see you coming to peace here. I do see you kind of at a crossroads of indecision. But you know what? Like I said, I don't think that making a snap decision is the best idea. I think it's okay to weigh out your options and kind of make an educated decision, right? An educated decision based on, you know, data that you've acquired on these people. <laughs> Maybe I'm being too scientific about it, but like, you know maybe even keep like a journal where like if you go on these different dates you like write down pros and cons from each one and really weigh out your options i don't know i i know it's different from what a lot of other people would tell you but i don't think that just jumping the gun and jumping into commitment is healthy I think weighing your options and really measuring out the energy to see what is a vibrational match for you is the healthy way to pursue that. You've got a lot of pages, right? you got three pages and a knight, and those are all different offers. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, three pages in a night. People might be jealous because you do have options. People might be hating because you got options, right? Exes, whatever. Haters gonna hate, you know. Ace of Cups, I see that you have, you fill your own cup for the most part, right? You have a lot of self-love. Um... Sometimes when you have so much self-love, it's hard to accept the offer of love from somebody else because you don't want to feel like you're forced to now validate them and their feelings. You're like, I just want to fill my cup and with what runs over, you know, give that to you. But I ain't draining my cup dry for nobody, <laughs> right? That's, that's the energy I'm feeling. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse, it's like you're healing from that... From feeling defeated and betrayed, right? From feeling an absolute loss. Somebody did not treat you well. Let's be real. Somebody lied a lot. Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody treated you like shit a lot. Um, and you're done fighting with them. Ace of Swords in reverse, right? You're just like, I, don't, I ain't picking up my sword. I'm filling my cup. Ace of Hats. Or Ace of Cups. Uh, now you have 10, 10, 10, right? 10 to the power of 33 is the mind, body, and spirit. So endings and new beginnings on all levels of who you are, right? And then we have a Queen of Swords showing up. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What? I thought it's the deck I'm using. Where's the deck I'm using? <laughs> I need to see who this Queen of Swords is. This is the first queen to show up. Right? The Empress card showed up on right there as well. So let's see it. Who is this Queen of Swords? 
with that Libra and Aquarius card showing up, you know. That's a big sign. <laughs> Maybe it's foreshadowing. Clarify this plan of swords, please. Oh, I need another deck. The card's already being used, I bet. Okay. Knight of Wands. This is somebody that you might be pursuing. This is somebody that I feel that kind of cat and mouse game a little bit. Queen of Swords is hard to attain or hard to reach because. She's always prepared to cut shit off, you know, shit that's not in alignment. The Queen of Swords is very brass. I see you. Or, you know, flip the energy where it belongs. But I do see Knight of Wands is a message of the truth coming in. Or an offer. Another offer. Five of Swords in reverse tells me that there will be no conflict in this offer. Like, you feel a connection without conflict. How are we talking about the eggs? That's a potentiality. Let's see, who's this Queen of Swords? You might still be pretty focused on your ex, actually. Knight of Wands is like an offer message of truth coming in. It could be that apology, that I'm sorry, writing past wrongs, defenselessness, da da da. Because they're not coming in trying to fight. But it cut shows up and that tells me that you're leaving, that you're walking away from that. And if the chariot tells me you're moving all the way on. Three of pentacles in reverse or three of materials in reverse tells me you don't want that codependency anymore. Uh, you don't need it. You don't want it. Uh, the magician tells me. You're manifesting a new beginning here, and you have every resource that you need in order to do so. I feel like that Queen of Swords is who you're letting go of. I don't feel like that's who you're inviting in, but I feel like they're heavy on your energy. So let me tell you what I honestly feel in my personal opinion. Um, a lot of people, when they break up with people, they think, oh, I'm ready to move on, da 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 my personal opinion on that is that uh, you're ready to move on when the drama ends, right? When there's no more communication with the ex. When there's, you know, when that whole situation is completely severed energetically so that you're not bringing the energy of your past love into new love. Um, which is why I think casual dating is an excellent idea for you in regards to moving on and weighing out your options. I would not settle into a hardcore relationship right now. <laughs> I would, you know, like, take your time. Don't be so quick to be heavily committed to something. Um, give yourself, give yourself that, you know. Give yourself that. Um, the magician showing up, while we're talking about this Queen of Swords, there's another way I could read that, right? The magician always keeps secrets. The magician, you never know, what the, the left hand never knows what the right hand is doing, right? They create illusion. They deceive you. 
that that's literally the job of the magician to deceive you and create illusion to work behind the scenes here um so it could be you working behind the scenes you know and just not really divulging all the you know all that you're doing towards your manifestation there's a positive one or it could be a really sneaky person who's trying to do some manipulative shit whatever the case i see you walking away from this moving away from this and never wanting to allow that codependent energy back into your life right not wanting any sense of your lives being tied together and twined together um you know you're just done you're just done I'm gonna pull some oracles and get some advice for you. Honestly, there's something pretty exciting though about that being able to walk away from a relationship and really gain your independence. Um, with the Ace of Cups showing up, you have a lot of self love. And a lot of self-respect right that won't allow you to revisit that connection that connection that just put you through hell um Never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words, not living in the now. Okay, so there are some unfulfilled promises, right? That typically happens with relationships that fall apart. <laughs> um, don't allow that to weigh you down, though. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. Nonsense. It's time to talk nonsense. All must have prizes. Trying to please everyone. First of all, why would you do that? <laughs> Don't try to please everyone. Um... I see with the nonsense it's time to oh it's time to talk sense not nonsense <laughs> I love nonsense time to talk sense um let go of nonsensical things really um and let go of the idea of trying to please everyone right you ain't gonna make everybody happy you ain't gonna please the whole damn world and you know what I learned is I am a lot more accepted as a person in general when I don't give a fuck what people think about me versus when I do, right? <laughs> like, when I do, then people, like, they're like, Ugh, why do you care, you know? And then when I don't, it's like, people are drawn to me. It doesn't matter how much of an asshole I am. <laughs> they love that I'm an asshole. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> There's something about authenticity, though, that really is magnetic, you know? Tap into your authentic self and be unapologetically that. Be unapologetically that. You ain't gotta please nobody. <laughs> Somebody putting you through hell. Bye. <laughs> they can go be in hell by them themselves, right? Like, I remember once somebody told me, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> and I was... And that, I was just like, man, I'll be ruling that place. What are you talking about? You'll be my slave there. <laughs> no, but I'm just kidding. Um, you know, there's this energy, though, that, like, you know, somebody doesn't wish good on you. Let's be real. With that page of swords that came up and the queen of swords that came up, there's a lot of spite. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of hostility. Um... 
make sure you're like cleaning your energy right take salt baths <laughs> i know it's an old there's a reason witches have done it since forever right there's a reason that we continue taking epsom salt baths like we have seen the results even on a scientific level take a salt bath clean your energy green candles green can candles are really good um if you can get yourself a black chicken candle right it helps protect against any spells or magic done against you um green candles they're great for the heart chakra right they open that up and they're great for abundance um those that and i'm I'm just saying, I mean, yes, I have them right here. I also have orange candles for protection. You know, learn about candle magic, actually. Like, learn about that and really work on, I mean, even if you're not a witch, like, protecting your energy is important. And I think doing, you know, taking reinforcements, especially with the Queen of Swords in the Magician energy, you don't know what kind of energetic things it, it can be done against you. And if you know anything about quantum entanglement, you would know that people actually can curse you from afar. <laughs> Doesn't matter how far away, right? They can affect your energy from a from across the world. That's quantum entanglement. From across the universe, they can affect your energy. Protect your energy. Okay? <laughs> Protect your energy. Be a force so strong <laughs> that they can't fuck with you. Because I guarantee you, like, I'm on my other channel, I'm reading the Four Agreements. And it talks about, like, how your word is your wand and how your word really does affect a lot of things, you know? Um, on the third dimension, on outward uh, manifestations. Kali Mahamaya. Let's back in here. When a situation becomes un unnecessarily complicated or confusing to your heart, Kali Mahamaya arises spontaneously as a protective bearer of universal truth. Ultimately, her revelation shall lead you beyond that which is deceptive or not right for you. This you were promised. She protects you from that which is unworthy of your heart and seeks to constrain your spirit. Mahavidya. No matter how logical an approach may be or how sensible it may seem, there are times when the heart nudges us toward a different way. Have the courage to be moved by your heart along untried paths that resonate, whatever the logical mind has to say about them. You are outgrowing a problem and birthing a superior outcome. Matangi. She is a tantric queen of outcasts, unveiling the hidden inner power to thrive outside conventional society. If you have been denied love and respect, she brings healing and empowerment. If you have suffered rejection, abandonment, or have been labeled as unworthy in any way, she brings dignity and repair. She clears the way for a creative, joyful, and vibrant life path. Trust the journey you've been put on. Trust the things that have been taken out of your life, right? Trust that they have been removed from your life for a reason. I know, because I have done the back and forth thing in my life. <laughs> and going back to the past only brings more of that past hurt. It doesn't undo the past hurt, you know? It doesn't resolve it. Real resolution is when you can completely let it go and sever that karmic tie. Because your current debt is paid, my friend. Know it, accept it, and be it. <laughs> Alright? Be done with that queen of souls ass. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much what I have for you. No mistake, because I'll catch you on the next one.